Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Build a City. Is that a new Lockton City? I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Well I say that uh, we've only made one episode recently but I'm trying to make them a bit more frequently now um, as we're trying to get to episode 100 really. That's my goal is get to episode 100, see where we are from there and then carry on. Anyway, before I do get into the video make sure you do like and subscribe because it helps out loads and oh my god my character won't open his eyes. Hello. Ah, there we are. Today, we will be building in somewhere pretty unlikely. We're going back to the heart of the city, very close to where it all began. That orange building there, that orangey brown building, is the first building we ever built. So, we're only around the corner from there. And I just thought, I want to take it back to basics this episode and build something very simple and, and quite traditional. Because I've really spent a couple of hours this morning looking through... Uh, some of my old Let's Build a City episodes, seeing what people liked and stuff. And those original episodes were fun and easy and we could build a whole sort of front of a building in one episode. And it looked good. And we went a lot with like this sort of style, this downtown look. Uh, so I thought, let's build one of them. So I looked around, I couldn't find anywhere to build it that makes sense apart from obviously here. And I noticed there was a gap here. I was thinking about maybe transforming some of my old buildings like maybe this in fact I don't know what's gone on here someone's decided to have a little balcony um, yes yeah, so like I was saying I was thinking maybe uh, I can replace a building uh, but then I thought well that's not really making much progress and then I was flying around and I saw this gap in between these buildings and although it does work and it does look kind of cool there's room for another building here and it's supposed to be the middle of a city so everything's quite condensed so having a big gap in between buildings doesn't make sense anyway I've wasted two minutes already let's get on with it okay so I've just used commands there to uh, clear out the area and I've got absolutely no plan whatsoever for this so this should be kind of interesting um, let's see I think we'll go for uh, I don't know what color we'll go for what is it called I don't know what it's called this one light gray uh, so we use that as our main block colour because we haven't used that around here too much, I don't think. Uh, so we'll use that as a main bit, but for a side bit, I think we'll go very similar to this design. Um, let's go with... we go sandstone maybe, would that look right? In fact, we'll go with stone bricks because although we have used it there, uh, it does look really effective. So, oops, let's not make potholes in the road. Let's start by marking it out. So we're going to want to have enough room for windows. So we're going to have a bit that comes out here and a bit that comes out there as the border. And I'm going to put some sort of detail there. And we're going to want a window there, a window here. And I'm just trying to make sure this lines up properly. Right, okay. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We can either have it so there's a two block gap in the middle, which is actually I guess that's the exact same uh, measurement as that so that's kind of interesting um, or we can go there there uh, hang on no we can't alright well it looks like we're going for that same sort of design uh, let's do it although obviously we don't want it to be exactly the same so we're gonna make some changes uh, let's see what do I want to build the front out of Okay, let's just go for a very standard sort of uh, base layer here of just bricks because that sort of makes sense, doesn't it? Having the foundations built out of a solid brick like that. And I'm going to use bone here. I don't really use bone very often, but uh, we've got white either side and this is more of a dirtier, creamier white. Uh, so it doesn't look like they're going to blend in with each other so much. So that's quite handy and we can also put it on its side as well so it's directional um, anyway we can build that as the shop front in fact I'm gonna make that go one higher here so this is like the bottom floor the shop front like I say that's where we're gonna put the windows in and stuff like that so we can clear out these measurements and we'll work on that bit last let's work on getting the main upper floors sorted first okay I've decided I'm gonna set it back one here and set it back one here if I can oops there we go uh, just so it doesn't look so flat along the thing. As you can see, we sort of build it one out from each other uh, so that buildings 
don't look all completely flat and they don't all merge into one so that's a good little tip actually and I'm going to use polished diorite as well to make this sort of pillar thing up the side so let's do that now okay that's pretty simple I think we probably will build it a little bit higher but for the time being that's fine now what we're gonna have to do is uh, we're gonna actually have to build this out one back as well so this, the uh, actual storefront itself uh, it's going to be jutting out a bit, although I think if we put a canopy over the top bit or something, it might blend in a bit better, it might look quite good. Uh, so I don't think we need to really worry about that. Let's go ahead and add in the measurements where the windows are going to be. Oops, I've done that wrong. There we go. Should be like that, I think. And then we're just pretty much going to build it uh, the same as that, although I think I'll have a couple of gaps in the middle, or I might have a bit which cuts through the centre. Uh, like it does there. In fact, maybe we should go for that sort of design. Windows, or maybe just for the bottom bit. Right, that's it. We're going to incorporate a couple of designs in. This is what I'm like. I make things up on the spot. I make these ideas up. But that's good. It means we can come up with some creative things. I mean, we're going to need to use something which looks a similar colour. So maybe one of these. We can either go like that or we can use the one which isn't polished uh, I guess the polished one looks a lot better let's go for that I barely ever use granite itself I think that's what it's called yeah granite I barely use it uh, as a block um, alright that's fine let's go across here and then we're gonna have something which cuts across the middle so I was gonna have the main theming um, of the whole thing, whatever colour this is, light grey and stone bricks. So we're going to have the bit which cuts across, we're going to have that as stone brick as well. And I need to quickly grab a half slab of that as well, and we'll go across like that. Now, does that look okay? Especially from the bottom, I think it looks okay. Uh, we're going to have to build these window parts, uh, the actual glass one back, but that shouldn't be much of an issue. In fact, we can pop some the window ledges in there as well that might look quite good alright that's fine and then I think we just go with the very basic uh, window style so let's go from there if we go like this and then we're gonna have to build that all the way up and that one we're gonna do the same on this side as well and there'll probably be I'd say two floors maybe three floors of windows I might be wrong, but I think that's probably what we're going to fit in here. Probably about three floors, I'd say. Uh, and then we're going to put a nice roof on top. And again, like I said uh, in the beginning, it's quite a simple design. So you should be able to follow along quite easily. And hang on, how have I done this? Is this... No, it is quite simple, isn't it? I thought I might have done that a bit more complicated than I originally thought. But no, it looks fine. If I haven't used half slab... Uh, not half slab, sorry glass panes which is interesting um, so I don't think I'll use glass panes this time because it looks good on that building so we'll do the same here and it looks like we're only gonna be able to fit in two windows um, which is fine we'll go along with that uh, we can probably put that like that I know it does connect directly onto each other but I think if we have a gap in between like that that might look a little bit better making the windows not blend into one so much. Right, there we go, let's put these upside down stairs on and then we'll put some glass behind it. In fact, we'll do the roof first, that's the basic that's the basic layout of it. It's looking good, uh, if you ask me, I think that looks alright. Uh, I mean, I might end up swapping out those uh, pillar blocks, uh, not pillar blocks, these granite, or no, diorite for... Uh, I might go plain stone actually because I think it might stand out a bit too much, a bit too bright uh, But we'll see, we'll see. Let's just put a roof on and then we'll see how uh, we feel about it Right, let's go at that So it cuts that part off uh, And I'd say Probably how have we done it here? So we've gone Like that and like that Let's bring that across. Oops Let's bring that across so that cuts off the actual building part there and then we'll go for similar a similar style. We'll put a bit of grey here and I'm going to want to have some of that 
showing through. Let's continue with the diorite just for now, but like I say, I'll probably change that uh, eventually. Uh, we'll go for a two block gap, I think. Uh, oh, actually, let's see. We might go for a three block. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Let's put another pit on top of here, and then we'll have it coming out uh, for a bit of a, a hang, uh, hangover, an overhang, an overhang roof. So, we'll put that there. Put that one there. Uh, let's go for that just for the time being. This is quite a simple design. You can go a bit more detailed. But um, that looks quite good actually. I think I might just square it off at the sides here. Make it look a little bit more closed off. Um, but you know what? That is actually quite good. And it sticks with this whole simple design thing that we've been going on about as well so that's great right now let's fill in the windows now do we go for a black windows or do we go for something else um, barely ever use black stained glass so I guess let's go for that if you're building this uh, yourself then obviously try out whatever you think is best for you I mean white stained glass is probably the most frequently used one because it just stands out quite well uh, especially if your building's dark as well. Uh, you don't really want to be using black stained glass because you sometimes can't tell that there's a window there. Um, so a good tip is to keep your building well lit on the inside if you're using black stained glass or else you won't be able to see it too well. Uh, and yeah, in this video I will only be building the front of the building just because it's a little push for time sometimes. I think I might pause the video, I suppose, finish the rest of the building and show you afterwards um, I suppose that will probably work uh, and yeah we're just doing the exterior for now if you want me to do some interior designing uh, of the buildings and do let me know I can look into that I'm not amazing at that but uh, we'll see um, and actually I really do like the look of these windows uh, it does look quite good I think we will do what I said though and uh, swap out these diorite bits uh, just to be something a little bit different we can either go for stone or polished and so unless there's something else that we could use um, that would look too light really let's see uh, see the thing is I didn't want to use the same polished and site because it would line up and it might look a bit weird next to each other like that but I think at this point it's set back far enough I think it should be okay and if you think in realistic terms, if this was a real city, these would have probably been built by the same architect around the same time. So there would have been quite a few similarities between the buildings. So I guess we can get away with it. Uh, and then there's just one more there. And there you go. I think that does make quite a big difference, uh, to be honest. Uh, and now do I want to keep those granite bits or do I want to make it the same colour I'm going to let you guys see what you think as well um, do you know what I think it looked fine before oh I don't know though I don't know I get picky I don't want it to look too boring I mean I want this build to be simple but uh, I don't want it to be boring so I guess that's fine alright let's build a very standard shop front as well something quite easy going uh, okay, so we're going to want to put the doorway in. I guess we can put the doorway in the middle because we've got a nice two block gap here anyway. Uh, let's make a little area for the doorway. Bring these up and that can come out there, that can come out there. That leaves room for two canopies as well. Everything's lining up quite nicely. In fact, let's not go for that. Let's use white and red stained glass for the window itself uh, and we'll go like this and then for the top bit just as a little bit of added design we'll have it a bit checkered that should look quite nice there we go six so two there and then the checkered design on top now, oh, let's see how that's looking it's looking good to me uh, and I guess we'll just go for 
plain white in the middle and we can build up the walls slightly here as well there you go and on this side all right there, there's your little shop windows done pretty much we just grab that last block that's good we're gonna need to add in a doorway now uh, now let's see how do we want to make the door I guess we we'll use proper doors sometimes I use uh, glass panes and look like the doors are still like open now we can go for white or we can go for this color uh, this actually works quite well with the granite so I guess we can use that let's make a little white floor for it to go on as well and then we're gonna need to incorporate it in somehow uh, let's see what a couple of different bits would look like there's that which is okay I think we can probably add to it though make it look a little bit more interesting like that maybe I think that looks okay maybe we should actually uh, extend it so it almost looks like the doors have a glass part to it how does that look how about if we go like that and like that that doesn't look too bad to me pretty simple storefront uh, and then we're going to go and add in these canopies, which is one of my favourite things to do uh, to a shop. Makes it easy identifiable uh, that is a shop as well. So if we go like this, maybe. Uh, I mean, I might have it sticking out a bit more. Uh, actually, I, you know what? I think that might be okay uh, how it is. Let's just add those in there. Uh, yeah, I think that works how it is, really that's okay uh, and then I guess we just need to fill in this little area here so we'll just put one <laughs> one bone all the way across it's weird that this is a bone block isn't it we've just built a storefront out of bones like that and you can always hide torches in there as well and things like that so that's a good little area couple of little details here as well just to make it flow a bit better all into each other uh, and that's it really that's your basic little downtown shop now what I'm gonna do is spend a couple of minutes quickly filling in the rest of the building uh, so the other walls and stuff I won't do the interior like I say uh, and then I'll get back to you with what that looks like Okay, that's the finished design of the other walls. Like, uh, like I said earlier, you got to make sure you light them properly or else you won't be able to see the uh, glass too well. So I will be putting some light in that uh, shortly. But that's pretty much it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed this pretty easy building. Uh, and hopefully you can replicate that in your world. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.